loves the Lord. Shalom. Welcome to Salty Night Kids. I am Kelly and I am Mela. How are you today? I hope that you are all feeling blessed. Be blessed because Jesus is with us. That's right. As we begin, one of our Salty Night Kids will lead us in prayer. Hi, Salty Night Kids. Let's all pray. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you, Lord, for today. Bless us with wisdom and joy in our learning. May your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Who is that woman? Well, we will know who is she. Now, it's time for our Bible story time. So, sit down, open your eyes widely, carefully listen, and hush. Are you ready? Jesus was teaching people about faith, about God's kingdom and the way of God. He is teaching them through different stories and parables and ask questions so people may have understanding to the word of God. Then Jesus said, Watch out for the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. They devour widows, houses, and for a show make Lent prayers. Such men will be punished most severely. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put into very small copper coins worth only a fraction of a penny. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything all she had to live on. Wow! What a great story! The woman has showed us the right heart of giving. I agree. Imagine, that's her only money, but she gave it to God. It means that she loves the Lord so much. Yeah! Giving is not really about the amount that we are giving. But it's about the heart and our attitude towards giving. Just like in the story, there is two people who gave, right? But which one do we think God is pleased? It is the woman. Keep in mind that God always looks at the heart. He sees our true motives towards everything we do, including our motives to give. Yeah, whether us sharing our blessings towards others or giving our offerings to God, our hearts must be set to glorifying God alone. And also, God is a giving God. He loves to give abundantly and we are to imitate His generosity. As we experience God's generosity, we know that we don't deserve it and it humbles us. We therefore become grateful and we learn God's heart so we are moved to also give. So Sultan Night Kids, have the heart to give towards God and others. Worship Him through giving. Give so that we may be filled. Now, it's time! And heart! Nalilito talaga ako sa right, God! So mali! As we experience His generosity, <laughs> As we should for the day, Jesus loves. Jesus loves. <laughs> Our dear Southern Lake kids, did you have fun with us? I hope you learn about giving. Another way to worship God. Giving is not about what we give, but how we give. Be like God who's generous in giving. Have a big heart to give. Yes, we should be. And now, let's greatly thank Jesus as we learn about giving. Let's all pray. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day you have given us. Bless us to have the heart like yours to give. Continue to do your will in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And before we say goodbye, we would like to invite you for another fun and exciting activities with us next week. And 
kids. We would love to hear from you. We would love to know that you learned from our episode today. Kindly send us a picture or a video giving to God or to others. Send it as a private message to our Salt and Light page in Facebook, together with your name, age, and where you're from. This serves as your proof of participation to our program, and by this, we will give you points to collect. The points you collected can be used to avail items on our blessed market that surely you enjoy. We're glad to hear from you, Salt and Light Kids! And also, always remember that God loves giving to us. May we also love to give to God and to others. And that's all for today. Jesus loves you and me, a Salt and Light Kids. Bye-bye!